turned out is soaring ocean temperatures off the coast of Florida, hitting well over 90 degrees. It's devastating and deadly to the coral and marine life. Ginger's in Virginia Key, Florida with the latest for us. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Michael, at the end of the dock, that observation station behind me is one of many that has been recording those unprecedented water temperatures. Now, the scientists we were with out yesterday looking at the coral reef south of the Florida Keys said, you don't need that data to know that the coral is bleaching at what is likely an unprecedented rate. The Florida Keys baking in weeks of record heat. It's like this heat wave never ends. July will be their hottest on record, and it's not just the air. The water is sweltering, too. The temperature of the ocean around the Keys is up to 7 degrees above average. We're not even close to what the previous record was, let alone the average. Water that hot can definitely supercharge hurricanes, but it can also be fatal for Florida's vital coral reef. Just a few miles offshore and 20 to 30 feet under the surface of the sea, you'll find more than 80 species of coral, an animal that builds a rock-like exoskeleton, creating a line of defense, protecting the keys from hurricanes. If we didn't have this spur and groove reef system right off the coast of the keys, these islands would be decimated. It's also home to important creatures crucial to the economy. Between tourism and commercial fishing, the reef brings Florida billions in revenue. Over the last four decades, Florida's reef has lost more than 90% of its live cover to hurricanes, pollution, and constant warming. They've hit the tipping point. Carrie O'Neill and her team at the Florida Aquarium have been helping rehabilitate Florida's reef by breeding coral to withstand a warming climate, raising baby coral in their ocean greenhouse. Four years ago, they planted 200 baby coral on this spot, and they've been thriving ever since. So the team came out to monitor this site a few weeks ago, and the corals were looking pretty good. But our water temperatures at that time were 91 degrees on the, on the dive computer, so that's concerning. But now, with water this hot, this long, and this early, the coral can die fast. And what does it look like? It'll really just look white, a very, very pale. Uh -huh. Here we go. Within seconds, we saw it, stark white. The coral is bleached. Immediately when we went in, you saw white. Yeah. I um, mean, big patches. So as soon as I put my face in the water, my heart dropped into my stomach, for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of work to be lost in 10 days. We need to take action to stop the warming of our planet or else scientists like myself will just constantly be trying to keep up with it and keep us from losing species entirely. Well, we'll have to wait for NOAA to compile a full report from all of the reefs. Carrie and her team said we could likely say this will be the worst mass extinction and bleaching of coral in the Florida Keys in our time. It is really incredible to think, and she told me there are 3,000-year-old coral that have endured the waves of change over the thousands of years, but they've died in the last 10 days because of this unprecedented ocean heat. And unfortunately, the forecast is grim. Look at this. In the last four weeks, we've gone to the highest level of warning, and that warning will expand. By five to eight weeks, it's everywhere. We're not cooling down. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.